Um, so with that, we're going to be knocking on doors. We're going to be coming up with sketches of what we think you need to uh, employ to try to protect your house. Again, these are temporary measures. They're not meant to be permanent in nature. Um, but we highly advise that you, you know, look at what we're providing and you make the decision if you want to, uh, you know, to implement it or not. But again, it comes with high recommendations. Uh, all these advice forms will be prepared by uh, registered civil engineers from our department. <clears throat> um, with that, um, one thing I want to mention that after we're going through this and if you feel like you're at risk and you haven't had anybody knock on your door, uh, if you want to give us a call, please do. We'll come out and we'll take another look at it with you because because maybe you saw something we didn't. We're not going to say we see everything. So we depend a lot on the input we get from the community on what areas we need to look at. So after we've, uh, you know, if it's been two or three weeks from now and you haven't heard from us but you feel like you're at risk, please call us. Uh, the phone number you want to call is 626-458-6145. Uh, again, it's on that handout that's here. Um, <clears throat> uh, we will be preparing some other information that I think is useful to emergency response personnel um, during storm events. We put together what we call phase maps where we try to make a prediction on where there's going to be mud flows, what are the potential streets that are going to be impacted, <coughs> And, and we try to correlate that to what the rainfall forecast is that's coming in. And we, we provide that information to any emergency responders to the city, and people can go on, onto our website and look at that information as well. Uh, it becomes quite useful if, if you, like if you're the fire department and you know you, we have a big storm coming in and we're saying it's a phase three and phase three for us is the worst, and you look at the map and you say, oh, well, look, these streets may be, may be blocked. How, how are we going to plan around that? How can we get emergency personnel up into those areas if that's actually occurring? So it helps it for, uh, for planning purposes. And we'll go over more of those maps at the next meeting. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, we, uh, LA County Public Works, will be providing sandbags to the city. And I talked to Mr. Inman uh, right before this, so we will work closely to get those sandbags here to the city and whether they'll be distributed at the city yard or the fire station or maybe both, whatever is convenient for the residents, uh, we will provide those sandbags to the residents. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, as we get into this uh, rainfall scenario this, this, this winter, um, <clears throat> please be aware that uh, uh, we will be having crews monitoring all of the debris basins uh, 24 hours a day during rainfall events. They'll be up there checking them to make sure, to see how full they are, see how they're performing. Uh, if they find that there's one that's starting to fill with the debris, especially in, underneath, uh, below some of the burned watersheds, uh, uh, the best thing you can hear is to start hearing trucks moving up and down the street taking the debris out because you know they're doing their job and you're being fully protected by those flood control facilities that are up there. So, you know, be, be a little bit patient. You know, I know it may be in the middle of the night, though we'll be working around the clock. Uh, to make sure those are cleaned out, and as soon as they're cleaned out, then they, they will leave. And, and you know, it, it wouldn't be uncommon for them to have to come back two or three times in a winter if we have a lot of rain. Um, we work closely with the National Weather Service for uh, to give us rainfall predictions for upcoming storm events. Um, one of the things, uh, uh, so um, with that, we'll issue our, our phase maps um, and our phase warnings. Uh, let's see, something else I was going to mention here. Um, no, it escapes me. But, um, anyway, as far as sandbags, there's one, one uh, thing that I would like to stress, and I hope everyone will work with us on this, is that when we give out sandbags, we basically would like the fire department to distribute 25 sandbags, no questions asked. Uh, if you start getting residents coming in and wanting hundreds of sandbags or 50 sandbags, uh, we would request that you look to make sure that they have an engineering advice form signed by a, an engineer. And the reason we do this is because sometimes people could deploy uh, devices out there around them, their homes and actually make the situation worse. worse. They'll start uh, blocking flows, deflecting flows. It'll start impacting uh, your resident or your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure it's a very coordinated effort. Uh, so, if, you know, if we'll, hopefully you'll work with us on this so that we can try to make this work uh, together. You know, there's going to be several areas in town, I believe, where the overall solution is going to take a coordinated effort amongst several neighbors to make sure that they all employ 
those devices to get the mud flow passed down through the community and out onto the streets where it can be cleaned up. Um, so you'll, you'll see that though, you'll be made aware of it when we come knocking on your door and actually give you the engineering advice that uh, uh, we think you should implement. So, um, Are there any other questions? Anything I can answer at this time? Is there yes. going to be any proactive planning, um, planning of plants on the hillside or anything along those lines? Um, I believe this, well, typically that function for LA County is handled by the LA County Fire Forester, and I believe we've given the contact information to Mr. Inman, so I, I think he's going to be following up on that. Okay. Uh, again, from my experience, I've been working on fires uh, frequently for a number of years now. I've been with LA County for 22 years. Um, typically, they you know, about seeding hillsides, most of the time the fire department says is of no value, uh, primarily because you get the seeds up there on the, on the bare slopes. If you get some wind, they blow away. The birds come and eat it. And by the time you actually start to get something growing up there, uh, the root system is so shallow, it doesn't do a lot of good. And the slopes are so steep that it really doesn't help a lot. Uh, if there's some other areas that, that have a lesser slope that, that the fire department or other agencies feel that I, like it warrants uh, revegetation, then I'm sure they will recommend that. Yes? Uh, you had mentioned that it is fresh clearance season now. Was any of that land scheduled to be cleared? Um, I guess you would have to refer to, the, to Rich on that one. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get into questions and answers. Just a second, I wanted to invite Marilyn down here. If she'd like to talk about the police response, 